Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature along with other safety related videos and leadership training videos. Well, let's jump right in. Today's toolbox safety topic is entitled, Please Pass the Fire Extinguisher. Now, there are many types of causes of fires in construction. Some of the most common causes are open burns, cigarette butts, and sparks from welding. Do you know what to do if there's a fire in your work area? Let's take a few minutes to review how fire extinguishers work. Fire extinguishers are rated based on the classes of fires they can extinguish. Class A fires involves ordinary combustibles like wood, paper, and cardboard. Extinguishers that are effective on Class A fires may contain pressurized water, foam, or multi-purpose dry chemical. Class B fires involve flammable liquids or gases such as gasoline, diesel fuel, and acetylene. An extinguisher used for Class B fire might use CO2, multi-purpose dry chemical, foam, or halon. Class C fires are electrical fires. Extinguisher used to fight electrical fires may contain CO2, multi-purpose dry chemical, or halon. Many extinguishers are rated A, B, C. They work on these three classes of fire. The fourth class of fire is Class D. This unique kind of fire, which is very rare on construction sites, involves combustible metals. The extinguishing agents used on Class D fires are specifically designed to absorb heat and cool the material. Class D fires react violently to water. Now, do you know where the nearest fire extinguisher is? What is its rating? Do you remember how to use it? One way to remember how to use a fire extinguisher is PASS, P-A-S-S. -S. This acronym stands for Pull, Aim, Squeeze, and Sweep. If a fire starts and you decide to use a fire extinguisher, pull the pin, aim the nozzle at the base of the fire, squeeze the trigger handle, and sweep the extingu extinguishing agent across the base of the fire. Now at the first sign of a fire, call 911. If you try to fight the fire, remember to keep your own safety in mind. Always leave yourself a way out, and when the fire extinguisher is empty, leave immediately. Now, what can you do to ensure that your work gets done safely and without a fire? Make sure you follow all the safety rules. Observe hot work permit procedures. Store combustibles safely. Observe no smoking signs. And use proper containers for cigarette and match disposal. If a fire does break out, grab the extinguisher and remember pass. Pull aim, squeeze, and sweep. If you catch it soon enough and use this technique, you should be able to put the fire out before it can do much damage. As a final safety reminder, be sure your kitchen is equipped with a fire extinguisher and inspect it regularly. Okay guys, that's it for this week's toolbox safety topic. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. And until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your coworker and help ensure his safety. Have a grateful day, and I will see you in the field.